Hey, bless you. Peace. And to you, trust this uh, new year have gotten off uh, to a great start. 2023 is a great year. It's a year that God's going to do supernatural uh, things in your life. He's going to do abundant things in your life. He just waited on you to be intentional about what you heard and what, what happened in 2022 is the building block, has been the building blocks for 2023. Uh, I want you to move forward, go forward on those things. On Wednesday, I want to pick up what I left off on Wednesday. Our third John verse 2 says, Beloved, I pray. Uh, the favorite the letter from John the Evangelist to his friend Gaius, he said, I pray above all things that you may prosper and be in health as your soul has prospered. Um, and I want to start with very first, your soul. I want to give you the definition. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your intellect. So as your mind has prospered, I want to say a couple of things that I'm going to be off of here. I just want you to be encouraged. Continue to pray for Restoration Millennial. Continue to pray for me, uh, Kenneth M. Young, uh, that I might lead, that I might tell you what God wants you to know to empower you to be the best you in 2023. So the very first point, I think the evangelist John was trying to convey to his friend Gaius he said, beloved, I mean, my good friend Gaius, I pray, I'm praying for you. I'm taking your name before the throne of God. I am praying. That's what prayer is. Prayer is communication with God. It's not just monologue. Monologue, just you speaking, but it's dialogue where you speaking to God and you're getting quiet for God to speak to you. I would think the best way uh, to enter into prayer is through worship. Bring worship songs to your attention. Uh, begin to praise God. Begin to lift your hands and thank God. God, I thank you for being God. I thank you for even before I open my mouth uh, and to utter my expressions that I desire for you to meet my needs. You've already met my needs according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus. So that's the way I try to enter the prayer. So he said, I pray for you. Uh, that above all things that you may prosper. So uh, to prosper, I think, number one, we have to be intentional. You have to be intentional. If you're going to be, if you're going to prosper uh, in your mind, if you're going to prosper in your body and your spirit, you got to be intentional about what you've heard. Uh, you can't just hear it and just let it fall off. You know, you can, uh, getting closer to Jesus is not just osmosis. It's not just saturation. Saturation is good. I do believe that God will speak to you when you open your mouth, if you put something in your mind. So be intentional about what you hear this year. Be intentional about the 21 days of fast. Uh, this is day seven of our fast. This is Sunday, day seven, the second Sunday uh, of, of this new year. And I'm just so enamored, elated by what God is doing for people. He's blessing their businesses. He's blessing their homes. He's blessing their jobs. He's blessing their health. He's blessing their wealth and their wisdom. And that's you too. I'm speaking to you. Yeah, I'm speaking to you. As you be intentional, God's going to make sure you get there to your goal. So number two, not only number one, be intentional, but number two, be open to instructions. Yeah, be open to instructions. You know, there's a difference between uh, advice and feedback. Advice is a person's opinion. Be careful about getting everybody's opinion. The really true opinion you want is God. But what you want to be soft toward, to receive, have a soft heart toward, have open mind and, and, and a receptive heart is feedback. When people give you feedback, that is instruction. So the Lord says, I think Isaiah 48, 17, he said, I am your redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, and I will instruct you. And I would teach you the way you should go. You got to realize that. God loves giving us instruction. And he said, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So if you are willing and you're not in a hurry, you're willing to wait on God. You know what happens when you wait on God, right? When you wait on God, he shall renew your strength. Wait on God. It's like football. A receiver and a quarterback. There's a timing pattern. And the receiver's job is to get to the spot because he knows the quarterback is going to throw the ball. And that waiting process is you waiting on God. God waiting on you to get onto the spot 
where you can trust him. In the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. He shall direct your path. Number one is intentional. Number two, uh, be open to instruction. Last one, I'm out your way. Uh, be in the know. Be in. The, be connected to people who know. If you want to uh, go up in the area in your health, get with people. Get with a personal trainer. Get with. A, or get with a friend who is intentional about seeing you reach your goal. Intentional about seeing you come up. That's what you want to do. Uh, and if you want to know about finances, you want to be better in your finances, get with a financial advisor. Read my book. Read my book entitled uh, Financial Literacy is Exposing the New Economic Racism. You get that at Barnes & Noble or Amazon.com. You know? So, so you can change your economic mindset and get to the area where you want to get to. Nothing changes until something changes. Yes, we came from 22 now we're in 23, but nothing will change, watch this, until you change. So number one, let me go over this, then I want to pray for you. If you wanted to change, and I want the title of this message, you've got this. I spoke all that to say, you've got this. Number one, you got this because you're intentional. Number two, you got this because you're open to instruction. Number three, you got this because you are in the know. Let me pray for you now. God, our Father, I thank you for the listeners. I thank you for those who came on this broadcast today, who follow our ministry, who follow Restoration Millennial, who pray for us, who participate in this fast. God, we thank you for the Mount Zion Baptist Church National. We thank you for Bishop Joseph Warren Walker. We thank you for increase. We thank you, God. This is our year to come up. We bless you, God, and all that we do and all we say in Jesus' name we pray. Listen, have a great day. Make it a great day. I know you can, and I know you will. Kenneth M. Young, Restoration Millennial.